Hello everybody. It is September 19th, 2020 and I'm out on Allen Lake today with another motor. Uh, this one is my 1971 Evinrude Sportster 25 horse. Uh, I just picked this motor up a week ago yesterday. Um, I bought it from a guy in eCourse and uh, I've been looking for one of these for this boat for a while. Uh, this is this is the first complete one I found within the price range I was looking to pay. It was kind of rough on the inside. It got mice in it. Um, the kill switch wiring and everything was completely rotted out. The, the inside's got a lot of paint damage. I'll probably take it all apart and, and repaint that over the winter. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good motor. I went through it last weekend and... Uh, cleaned up the points and reset those put a new set of spark plugs in it I uh, checked everything out and it seemed to be good the coils are good uh, put a new set of condensers in it those were I don't know I just didn't want it did have any spark before and I didn't want to test them I had some good ones so I threw them in there um, put a new water pump impeller in it and check the lower unit oil there is no water in it uh, actually this motor looks like it's quite low hours um, despite the damage on the inside it, it's and it's sat outside quite a bit during its life um, all the places where it would wear show very little wear uh, so it looks like it's going to be a good one uh, took the kill switch the old kill switch out and just ran wires to my remote switch wiring in the boat um, I may add electric start to this I haven't decided yet I didn't do it now because I just wanted to save the weight um, but I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. At any rate, uh, I'll go through this thing completely over the winter. I did I did rebuild the carb. I didn't have a full kit, but I replaced the packing and the low-speed needle bushing. Everything else actually looked pretty good. Um, I had took everything apart, cleaned it in the ultrasonic cleaner, and sprayed it out and put it all back together. Uh, it seems to be running pretty well. It, this is definitely a screamer and not an idler. Uh, it, it will idle down, but it, it has, uh, it's not happy there like an 18, but 25 horse out of 22 cubes, I guess I can't complain too much about it being high strung. Anyway, let's fire this thing up and give it a run across the lake and see what we got.
gorgeous day out here today. It's still in the 50s, but no wind, just a few clouds, nice blue sky, gorgeous day. A little bit seasonably cool for mid-September, but we'll take it. this one for today uh, she's a runner it's pretty much what I've been looking for for this boat um, see what do we get running a solid 20 high 27 to 28 miles an hour and uh, high speed of I guess we could call that 29 28.96 That's close enough to 29 to suit me. Maybe someday I'll figure out how to break 30 with this hull, but I'm pretty happy with that. Till next time, thanks for watching. Keep your prop out of the mud.